Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review of the 14.1 inch Ultra Slim Notebook by Gateway, sold exclusively at Walmart. A big thank you to Gateway for sending me this gorgeous laptop to review. It comes with a small power brick and a quick start card that basically tells you to plug the laptop in and press the power button. On the right hand side of the card is a list of all the features and ports on the laptop, which we'll look at next. But first, let's talk about the brushed aluminum upper shell. It has a smooth matte finish that comes in four colors, green, blue, black, or rose gold. The edges are rounded, and if we turn it around here, the logo opens away from you. On the left hand side are the Kensington lock slot, charging port, USB 3.0 port, HDMI output, a data only USB-C port, and status LED. On the right hand side, you'll find a second USB 3.0 port, headphone jack, and micro SD card slot with its status LED. On the bottom of the laptop, there are four rubber feet in the corners to keep it from sliding on your desk, and you'll notice that the back ones are slightly thicker, so that the laptop pitches forward ever so slightly. At the left, there's an access panel for installing a second M.2 SSD for additional storage space. And there are two fan vents on the bottom for heat dissipation. Note that the bottom of the case is made from a lightweight plastic and not metal. The weight of the laptop is just over three and a half pounds. The dimensions of this laptop are 13 inches wide by eight and three quarter inches. And this ultra thin series is just about five eighths of an inch thick. The charger for the laptop is this plastic two and a quarter inch square by one inch thick power brick. It has a flip out plug for easier transportation in a bag and a six and a half foot integrated power cable that is unfortunately not removable or replaceable. It plugs into the barrel port at the left hand side of the laptop towards the back and when charging the status LED will be red and turns white when the laptop is fully charged. The first time you power on the laptop, you'll have to go through the typical Windows 10 setup. So while we're waiting, let's dive a little bit into the specs. This model is the GWTN141-4, and inside is a 10th generation Intel Core i5-1035G1 CPU at 1GHz, 16GB of RAM, and a 256GB SSD. The integrated GPU is an Intel UHD graphics card at 100 MHz, so you'll be able to watch movies or play casual games at 1080p HD 60 frames per second without a problem. The same is true if you hook up a second monitor via the HDMI port. The Windows 10 setup is now audio guided by Microsoft's voice assistant, Cortana, and you can use voice commands for some of the prompts. Hi there, I'm Cortana. And I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Though you can also mute the audio and follow the captions on the screen instead. Here's an example of a voice prompt. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Yes. You've probably noticed that the integrated speakers located at the left and right side above the keyboard aren't that great sounding, despite being tuned by THX, but at least they're serviceable. You'll find much better performance out of externally plugged in headphones or speakers, especially if they feature 7.1 surround sound or virtual surround sound. And that's where you'll hear the enhanced quality by THX. <laughs> here, let me point out the power, caps lock, and num lock LED indicators next to the left speaker, which illuminate white when on. Thankfully, Windows setup only takes about 10 minutes to complete. During setup, you can choose to secure your computer with fingerprint sign-in, utilizing the fingerprint reader built into the upper left-hand corner of the mouse trackpad. All you have to do is scan your finger about 10 times until the progress bar is filled. Then you should be able to unlock your computer by scanning your finger instead of entering a password, which in general was reliable and quick. 
The IPS display has a high gloss hard plastic surface and while it looks super clear and glass like, it also tends to show reflections and pick up fingerprints readily. So it's a good thing that this is not a touch screen. Also, the bezels around the screen are pretty thick, so you do lose a bit of screen real estate for the size. The keyboard spans the full width of the laptop with full-sized low-profile keys, but note that they are not backlit, which may make them difficult to see at night or in dark conditions. Nevertheless, the keys are responsive, have a slight but firm spring to them, and aren't very loud when typing. The lower blue icons are the special function keys, which you can access by holding down the FN key and pressing the associated key. For example, there's trackpad toggle, function keys, which are secondary to volume, brightness, and playback controls, and since there isn't a 10 key number pad, those keys are secondary to the keys on the right hand side. You can also activate the number pad by turning on the num lock function on the delete key. The battery in the laptop is rated to 10 hours of use on a full charge, depending on your brightness level and level of use during that time. Though, as you can see, at about 55% remaining battery, at my current settings, I'll only get a little under 3.5 hours. So let's say 6 hours on a full charge might be a more conservatively accurate estimate. Now you can see here that despite being rated as a 1 GHz processor, you're going to see the speed of the CPU jump up above that periodically. This is because the CPU can actually go up to 3.6 GHz and is clocked lower for better battery life performance. You can change this in the battery settings by switching to best performance to get more power. Note that this may impact the life of your components in the long run, but doesn't seem to push the processor hard enough to make the fan run constantly either. There's also built-in Bluetooth 5.1 for stable, low energy, and low latency connections. So when you watch movies on a set of wireless headphones, there's no delay between the audio and the video on the screen. And keep in mind, the Wi-Fi card is an 802.11ac card, so it supports gigabit speeds, but it'll only work on a 5 GHz network and not 2.4 GHz networks. Also, there's no Ethernet port option. So if you do get this laptop, make sure you've got a wireless router that it can connect to, or else you won't be able to get on the internet without some sort of adapter. As for upgrade options, you can add a second M.2 SATA SSD up to 1TB using the access panel on the bottom of the laptop. Or you can remove the bottom shell and replace the pre-installed 256GB one with a larger capacity, again capped to 1TB. Opening up the laptop is relatively easy. Just remove the 11 screws on the bottom of the laptop and the SSD access panel. Run a pry tool around the entire perimeter and the bottom of the case should pop right off. Inside we see that the 16 gigabytes of RAM is soldered to the motherboard, so that can't be modified or upgraded. The pre-installed stock SSD can be found on the right hand side, and that's removable. Interestingly enough, it's marked PCIe X4. So you may be able to install an NVMe M.2 drive here. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this laptop. It's a really nice mid-tier consumer grade laptop with a beautiful aesthetic that can handle a variety of daily computing needs for the average user. It has decent power and battery life and features quick boot up and load times. The new gateway laptops are exclusive to Walmart and the ultra slim 14.1 inch model that I have here comes in a variety of configurations, with this one being the top of the line. But you can save on the cost by going with a more economical build like the Intel Core i3, Ryzen 3, or Intel Celeron CPU, which may also come with less RAM and or hard drive capacity. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.